What's up everyone, in this video we will be covering POCO launcher versus NOVA launcher. We will begin with the home screen and then move to many features and cover which one is for you. Starting with POCO, the app offers a clean home screen with a few icons to boost and customize the phone. The percentage icon shows how much RAM is used and tapping on it cleans the RAM. The app comes with Google search bar and four transition effects which can be accessed by holding on the home screen and going to settings. Nova also comes with the Google search bar on the main home page. The dock is enabled by default. And a folder called Google containing a few Google apps is automatically created. Nova comes with three transition effects available in the settings. Let's talk about the dock now. Both support dock with a few apps already on the dock. POCO comes with only the swipe to open app drawer feature. Nova supports to enable and disable the dock. You can also change the background style, add and remove dock pages, adjust the total number of icons on each page and more. App drawer is the next thing to discover. POCO adopts a different approach as it uses categories and color row. The app automatically sets the categories including communication, entertainment, gaming, etc. But you can modify and add new in the app settings. Moreover, the color bar disabled by default is used to show app icons with similar colors. The app comes with options such as app suggestions, group icons by colors, scroll bar style and vibrate on scroll. Nova on the other hand comes with a clean app drawer. You can change the grid style, grid size, icon layout, background color transparency, search bar style and enable and disable the frequently used apps row. The search bar displays three tabs. Frequent tab which shows the frequently used apps, recent tab which shows the recently used apps and finally new or updated apps which of course displays the new and updated apps. There is a Google Play icon on the top right to open Google Play. Holding on each app shows app info, edit app and other options depending on the app. You can change the app's name and icon in Nova by tapping on the edit button. The next section is themes section. POCO comes with a light and a dark theme with an option to modify the background transparency in the app drawer. Nova is more advanced as it offers light, dark and auto themes. The auto theme uses the phone's time to change the theme. Apart from that, the dark theme can further be modified into light dark and extremely dark colors. Lastly, you can manually enable and disable the dark theme on the search bar, in the app drawer, icons and in folders. Okay, if we talk about gestures, there is no point because both do not offer that functionality fully. POCO comes with an option to lock the phone on double tap and for that to work, you need to make the app an admin of the phone. Nova offers the home button gesture for free. You can add shortcuts, search for apps, open apps and do more. The next round is notifications. POCO gets the win in this round because it comes with numbered and dotted notifications. The app does not offer to turn them off but you can turn off for each app in the system settings. Nova on the contrary does not offer the notification badges. Lastly, I will talk about a few unique features which are not part of the primary rounds which we just covered. POCO offers to hide apps. Check out the link in the description to learn to hide apps. Nova on the other hand supports backup and restore, CSAM shortcuts and you can change the icon style and shape in the app drawer and on the home screen. So which one to use? Nova offers limited features in its free version but the features it provides are highly customizable. POCO on the other hand offers more features than Nova but they are not as customizable as Nova. If you don't care about a few features and want more customization options then go with Nova. Otherwise go with POCO Launcher. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope the comparison helped you find the perfect launcher app. Feel free to share your views in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more comparison videos.